Tesla battery supplier LG Energy Solutions announced it would build a $1.4 billion battery production facility in Arizona as demand for electric vehicles throughout the United States skyrockets. LG Energy Solutions said it would build the $1.4 billion plant to meet demand for prominent startups and other North American companies as consumer sentiment is beginning to transition toward sustainable vehicles. The factory is expected to be operational by 2024, the company believes. Before we get into the news, I would like to welcome you to my channel. On this channel we look at the latest news surrounding Elon Musk, Tesla Cybertruck, SpaceX Starlink to name a few. I would like to announce a giveaway I will be hosting. I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card, and all you have to do is subscribe and like the video, and make sure you watch till the end of the video. Now let's get into the news. The Arizona plant will be LGES's first ever US factory to make cylindrical electric vehicle cells, which are typically used by automakers like Tesla and Lucid, which is an automotive production facility in Arizona. LGES is expected to break ground on the plant in Q2 2022, with mass production expected to begin in 2024 at a capacity of 11 gigawatt hours, LGES said in a statement. With the establishment of our new Arizona plant, LG Energy Solution aims to deliver unparalleled consumer value in the rapidly growing cylindrical battery market, Young Su Kwan, CEO of LG Energy Solution, said. LGES will provide the most dependable, competitive and advanced products to rise as the best business partner that our clients value and trust. Tesla and Lucid could be among the potential customers to benefit from the plant. Additionally, Proterra and Philip Morris, a manufacturer of heated tobacco sticks, could be other non-automotive companies receiving cells from the plant, Reuters said. These companies have not confirmed any link to the plant, however. LGES could expand the plant's potential production capacity in the future, it said. The facility will utilize state-of-the-art technology and operate as a smart factory according to the company. Using remote support, manufacturing intelligence, logistics automation and more, LGES plans to utilize the latest production technology, along with its expertise in the mass production of batteries to meet consumer demands in a stable manner and secure the company's leadership in the North American battery market. The Arizona factory could add further production capacity in the future as we are seeing growing demand for cylindrical batteries from various customers, including automakers and power tool makers, an official for LGES said. Automotive CEOs have called for an increase in availability for cells as more companies embrace the transition to electric vehicle. Tesla CEO Elon Musk stated earlier this week that cell availability would be the limiting factor for the next two to three years. In past earnings calls for the company, Musk and other Tesla executives have stated cell constraints are the true bottleneck in production. Although Tesla has increased its annual production to nearly 1 million cars annually, the company has delayed several projects, including the Cybertruck, as cell availability continues to limit the automaker's ability to commit the new projects. Musk confirmed Tesla would launch no new products in 2022, effectively delaying several new vehicles until 2023. LGES raised more than $10 billion in an IPO in Korea in January and has announced several other battery ventures with other electric vehicle manufacturers such as General Motors and Stellantis. Elon Musk commented last night that Tesla could have had a Model S that was capable of 600 miles of range on a single charge. However, Tesla decided not to pursue the what would be an industry-leading metric because it would impact handling, efficiency, and overall performance negatively. We could have made a 600-mile Model S 12 months ago, but that would have made the product worse IMO, as 99.9% .9 of time you'd be carrying unneeded battery mass, which makes acceleration, handling and efficiency worse," Musk said in a reply to Holmar's blog, who stated Lucid may have been the first to deliver a 500-mile EV, but Tesla would be the first to produce it. Even our 400-plus mile range car is more than almost anyone will use," the Tesla CEO added. The battle of alleviating range anxiety amongst new electric vehicle owners is something that will eventually subside altogether. However, there are entirely too many people who still bring up concerns of where they will be able to charge their cars, arguing that gas stations are on every corner, but EV chargers are not. While this is true, EV chargers are more available than many may think. In even rural south-central Pennsylvania, where I live, there are about 17 EV chargers, including an 8-stall Tesla supercharger. All are within 10 miles of my house. Even still, the concerns of how much range is enough still circulate through the community of prospective EV buyers. Everything will require sacrifice. 
And while most passenger gas cars can travel around 400 miles on a full tank of gas, ABC News says the average American only travels 16 miles per day for work. U.S. Census data suggests Americans spend around 27.6 minutes driving to work one way. Hundreds of miles of range are not completely necessary. As Musk also said, more range usually means more batteries, which adds to mass and takes away from the fun driving experience that EVs have been commended for. The Tesla Model S has 375 miles of range and at one time had over 400 miles of range. The Model S Long Range Plus had 402 miles of range and one of the primary reasons was significant mass reduction. Mass is the enemy of both efficiency and performance, and minimizing the weight of every component is an ongoing goal for our design and engineering teams," Tesla said in a blog post announcing the 400-mile Model S in June 2020. Several lessons from the engineering design and manufacturing of Model 3 and Model Y have now been carried over to Model S and Model X. This has unlocked new areas of mass reduction while maintaining the premium feel and performance of both vehicles. Additional weight savings have also been achieved through the standardization of Tesla's in-house seat manufacturing and lighter weight materials used in our battery pack and drive units. Tesla's structural battery pack compartmentalizes the idea that mass distribution can be used in an advantageous way. During Battery Day in September 2020, Musk outlined the ideas for the Tesla structural pack and how it was designed. The non-cell portion of the battery has negative mass, Musk said. We saved more mass in the rest of the vehicle than in the non-cell portion of the battery. So how do you really minimize the mass of the battery? Make it negative. The density of the pack not only increases structural rigidity and safety, but it also improves mass and range by strategically placing cells in areas where they would complement the vehicle. Interestingly, Tesla has several vehicles on the way that feature range estimations of over 400 miles. The Cybertruck's tri-motor powertrain which may take a backseat to the rumored quad motor variant, had a 500 plus mile range rating when Tesla still had the configurator for the vehicle available. With the new 4680 battery, Tesla's vehicles will likely be able to reach the 400 mile threshold without sacrificing too much of the performance or efficiency that Musk spoke of. The next gen Roadster, which has sat on Tesla's back burner for several years, also has an incredible range estimation of 600 plus miles. The Roadster may be a special exception to the range rule, but with the astronomical expectations for the vehicle, including the ability to hover, excessive battery weight may take away from the Roadster's 1.1-second acceleration from 0 to 60 and its handling due to its small, sporty frame. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe and like the video as it will help out the channel a lot. Make sure you do not forget to turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon so you do not miss the latest news surrounding Elon Musk, SpaceX, Tesla Cybertruck to name a few.